Hey, what's up everybody? Hey, this is Paul from Swarfworks. Got a new product here I'm gonna show the installation on. This is our bracket to mount the ARB twin air compressor on the new F-150s and Raptors, uh, 21 and newer. Mounts right down on the frame rail using some, some hardware here that goes right in the factory uh, holes on the frame. Hides down underneath the air box for a super clean install. So let me show you how quick and easy this is. All right, so let me go over a few of the different uh, pieces of this kit. Um, obviously, you have to buy your compressor. I got the bracket over here. Then there's an option I sell with the leader hose. This is a stainless braided hose with some fittings here to mount to the compressor. Um, and then a, a quick coupler. And then here is the, the hardware, these clip nuts and bolts. We'll use that in a little bit. But let me uh, get, the, get the fittings on here. So the way this goes is there's a little nipple here and thread this together. I'll just show you how it goes and then I'll, I'll pipe thread seal it all. Um, so this goes on the compressor, make enough room for that 90 to turn there. And then the hose goes on here. There's one end the swivel, one's not. Um, I usually put the swivel on this end on the elbow, but that doesn't much matter. So there's that and then let me show you the bracket. So now the compressor goes on the kind of the acute angle on like in here. Um, then this will go towards the front of the truck, but we'll show that in a minute. So flip this over. We'll go on here and then just line your holes up in the, the fake ARB compressors on Amazon will fit to you. So if you go that route, I guess it'll work. So just use the, the hardware that comes with the compressor here. Uh, they're just 10 millimeter head. And last one. And then I just usually make sure that the compressor isn't touching the, that bottom. Um, I just usually space it off a little bit so it doesn't vibrate. Uh, just tighten those up. All right, so there it is on the, on the bracket. So this will set in like this on the frame so the truck's forward. Now this part of the hose comes over and we'll put it through this. So again, these, these parts are optional. I mean, if you wanted to create your own way to do it, uh, you could do that. So this bulkhead fitting goes through the plate. Once again, don't forget your Teflon tape and all that stuff, but I'm just showing it real quick here. So throw that down on there and this fitting. See, I guess I should have put that, oh, I could spin this. So this goes on there and then your uh, quick coupler goes on the other side of that bulkhead fitting like that. So this will point out towards your, your driver's side tire. So that's how it pre-assembles. And then uh, I'll show you, I'll go through and seal all these up and then uh, show you how to drop it in the All right, so now we got the uh, air compressor all prepped. Let's uh, get some stuff out of the way. Just need to remove the air box. Um, this is pretty easy to do. There's just a hose clamp here. Let me uh, get that out of there. So seven millimeter or a flat straight screwdriver. Loosens that up. Two clamps. Good time to check your filter. Pull it off. And we'll set that aside. So now um, up front here, there's usually two little uh, Christmas trees that you just pry out, but I've got the Cobb anti whatever it's called. I don't know, keeps your uh, intake from squishing down. So there's a couple bolts there, but usually it's just a Christmas tree. So let me set that aside. And now we can remove this part once we take this bolt out. It's a 13 millimeter head. Just take that right out. Now this just has a couple little rubber feet thing that sticks down in there. So now the compressor is gonna go right behind the radiator, right down on the frame rail. So before we drop it down in there, 
we'll, we're gonna throw the uh, clip nuts on the frame. Let me show you how to do that. All right, so hopefully we can see. You can see where I had them on there when I was testing this. Um, they go right in those two square holes. Kind of the upper ones um, by the suspension here. Let me see if I can get a good recording of this. I'll try anyway. If not, you can use your imagination. So you just go through the holes right there, push them in like that. Let me see if I can, I'll do the other one. So the other one is right here. It's kind of more vertical. All right, so now we got both those in there. You can see where they go. Just make sure the round hole where the thread is is lined up with the hole. And then uh, we'll drop the compressor down. All right, now for the fun. So this thing's kind of a beast when you get it in here, but you just drop it down. It'll go like this. And just try to get it on the frame rail there. All right, now it's sitting in position. We just need to uh, put those two bolts, 13 millimeter heads, through the clip nuts we put, just put in there. So let me do that. All right, grab the GoPro. All right, so we just drop the bolts in there, or the compressor on it. Bolts in, you can see, 13 millimeter head. That's how it should look. Except for yours will probably be black unless they start making some more orange ones. But you might have to just notch out this fender lining a little bit. I think I did that on the prototype here. Got to see where that lines up. So now we got a compressor in there. Uh, it's a good time to do the wiring. I've already got it installed on this one. Probably won't really show much of that because eh, it's kind of boring. But, but the best way I found to run the wires is down and then across the bottom of the front core support. Instead of trying to go up and over the radiator and stuff that's hot here, I figure it's just best to go down, over, connect to the battery, and then uh, connect what, uh, wire to the outfitter switch. So this, uh, this compressor has relays on it, so you don't need to run the full power through the switch. You can just run it, uh, there's a turn on lead, basically like an amp. Uh, if I can find my wires here, I'll tell you what. There's one connector on the small harness here that you connect. So. Um, this purple wire, there's a little black wire that just goes to a ground. The other two wires go to a ground. There's a good spot right here on the back of the, um, whatever you call that, core support part. And then obviously two powers with fuse go over there. Uh, so this harness comes with the compressor. And uh, I'll plug this in and then uh, start putting the airbags back on. All right, one thing I forgot to mention on the compressor mount here, um, on this side, you can see the little rectangle holes. I put those there um, to put zip ties on to kind of zip tie your wiring back. So you can just loop it through there and I'll do that and kind of show you. But that's how, how it sits down in there. Once again, I'm gonna move my, move my wires out of the way there, but hopefully that kind of shows how it should sit. I got a zip tie on there. I'll put a couple more down the side of that just to make it, but this, that ground right here is a nice, nice spot to ground it. And there we go. All right, so now that we got it all in there, wired up, uh, probably a good thing to test it right now, but I trust it. Now we can put the air box back in. Just get it down in those two little dipples. Make sure that clamp's kind of on the way. Just kind of push it down in there. I'll throw this bolt back in. Since it's going aluminum, I like to start it by hand first. So that's 13 millimeter again. Uh, I try to do that to make those clip nut bolts the same size so they, you weren't looking for too many tools. Let me put this bracket back on. A whole lot easier if you just drop the Christmas trees back in there, but this thing does serve a purpose. We are a Cobb dealer. Um, so if you need anything like this, just let us know. I guess, look at the website. Come on. All right, now for the air filter. Sorry my truck's so dirty. I uh, 
Guess I use it for what it's meant for. Back up. And there we go. So, I mean, really, probably prepping the compressor with the hoses and stuff like that takes about as long as actually putting it in. Um, so, it's super easy, super stealth. You can't even tell it's there unless you look under, you can see that airline. So, if you want to pick one of these up, swarfworks.com. And thanks for watching. All right, while we're talking tires and air, I guess we're talking air, not tires. Uh, I upgraded these valve stems to these Apex quick deflate ones. Uh, these are made right here in Utah, and these are sweet. So they still use a TPMS sensor on there. Um, it has this cap on it that holds the deflator uh, closed, but then you just, to deflate it, you just pull that red tab, and uh, watch how fast this go down. I'm a little low right now, I'm probably 28 pounds, but uh, I'll deflate it to air it back up. So you just take the red tab, pull it. You can see there in a, just a few, probably 20 seconds or so, we went from 28 pounds down to probably about two, three pounds.